what is uh, data origin type while creating BP in S4 HANA, any version for that matters. So here is the place we will maintain data origin type. What exactly data? For example, if you take your customer master, vendor master, or else uh, it can be like your transactional data, or else it can be credit master data, it can be. Like uh, if you think that the data only generating generating in your standalone as for system or AC system that is completely wrong. Certain times your purchase order might be created other third party system that will be converted into the sales order in our S4 HANA or ECC system. In the similar way, so we have a certain tools like uh, there is one tool called Ariba from there. Nowadays uh, quite popularized in the last five to six years from there. Material specifically will be reading from that system before processing any purchase orders or sales orders. That kind of a lot of complex mechanisms will be there. Let's try to check if you would like to differentiate your data based on data origin type from where the data is got generated that for information purpose we can able to control it for example if you go to the bp okay i'm just showing uh customer master level if you come here for this bp if you uh, can able to see this in uh, control tab data origin Okay, here certain types, examples, legacy data transfer. That means it might be non-SAP system if you would like to transfer the data. So purchase uh, address data set and uh, so like, you know, legacy to legacy system like that, you know, some example he has given. I'll just try to help you out with one example where you can able to understand this field just only for information purpose. Okay, so uh, let me try to show you here, go to the cross application functions and certain times these kind of fields will be based on business requirement, it is mandatory. Otherwise, it's not at all required to implement this. So need not require to forcefully implement this kind of field uh, related configuration. If you can able to see this here, okay. So basic settings of BP, so you can able to find maintain data origin type. Let me try to uh, show you one example. So uh, G double zero zero one, okay. Uh, data from maybe Ariba, as I said that, okay. So so this is for materials. I don't want to do that data from. You can say that you know. Uh, legacy maybe they're using some kind of a tool what should i say so interface okay ecom okay so data ecom interface okay so your customers is coming from ecom interface okay let me try to pull put you some more data from uh s4 okay so Customers direct direct directly from S4 system. Okay, you can able to do that, right? Suppose if you are making migrations. So for example, if you are in Go Live, okay, S4 on a system in Go Live. So a lot of customers got created. Certain times there is no point to create again ECC and migrate. So if you are directly creating in S4, that is one thing. So let me put it one more thing. Data from ECC, it's not S3, this is S4, okay? So customers from ECC system, like, you know, certain BPs, uh, certain customers, if you are migrating through by using LTMC or LTMOP tool, data is copied. So then if you'd like to differentiate, what are all the new customers? If the system is go live, if you'd like to differentiate, you can able to differentiate by these two, okay? Maybe I can take one more data from ext i data from external interface. So this 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 is also e-commerce one kind of interface. Maybe like you know interface others apart from 
So these are the things we have created. So certain a case, let's go to the BP. Okay. I can able to differentiate like this my at the time of creation. So let's check this. So this one customer is directly created from S4 system. This is for information purpose. Okay. So this is one thing. And Okay, this has got saved. Let me show you one more BP. Just for understanding differentiation. So, go for this guy. Yeah, I have already seen this one. Take one more BP, this one Hyundai Germany. So probably like, uh, okay. So let's go to the change mode again. So maybe the data, which this customer is segregated as something like uh, ECC or migration. So like this is just for information purpose by using either before at the time of transferring, you can able to transfer by creating this field in your Excel. Uh, like, you know, the data what you're uploading from ECC and second is you can able to update this by using mass transaction code. It's up to you or else LSMW, how you want it. Okay. If you really like this video, please like it. So this is my complete BP course. And when it comes to my S4 and a sales course, it is around 50 hours. If you really want it, you can give it a try. Okay, if you'd like to ride your skits, please subscribe my channel. Thank you so much. Wish you all the best. Have a great day.